Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to talk about my favorite masks. This one's cracking. I love doing this whenever I have a mask on because it's just like you are so irritating and I can't move my face unless I crack it. So we are gonna get cracked. Ew, oh, gross. Oh my God, what the hell? Hey, hey everybody, welcome to my channel. <laughs> okay, 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 this is embarrassing. All right, so today we're gonna talk about my favorite masks and uh, um, what they do and yeah, my mask collection has just grown extensively over the past couple of months. So I just wanna share with you guys some of the masks that I've been using that have really helped my triggered ass skin go back to normal and just look sexy and go back to just being a bad bitch. Like my skin was really tripping on me for a minute because it was doing whatever the hell it wanted to do. And I just don't appreciate that. I don't need that type of energy in my life. So I had to go ahead and get some of that magic skincare witchcraft to put my skin back in its damn place. What I have on my face right now, which is in the picture that I posted, oh my god, my camera's always about to die. Like, everything in my life is always about to die. Why does everything have to die on me? This is the mask I was wearing in that picture. Let me put it in right here. <laughs> that everyone was just so happy about. That picture is a meme now about someone's boyfriend not coming to get them or something. Hey, whatever floats your boat. This is the retexturizing mask with rose clay by origins and a lot of people when i posted this were like that mask doesn't really do anything for me well sweetheart it does a lot for me and you want to know what it does for me let me go ahead and tell you so what it does for me is it literally primes my skin for my primer before i put on my makeup oh so I put this mask on before I do my makeup if I just want like a perfect canvas to put my primer on to to put my makeup on top of. It really does help with getting rid of excess skin and just evening out my skin for a perfect and blank canvas for the makeup to go on, boo. All right, so I do this one usually before I do my makeup and now that I have the Origins Matte Moisturizer, my skin and my makeup is about to be on 10 and no one can tell me shit because let me tell you skin if your skin's not looking right you're not gonna feel right you're not gonna feel sexy you're not gonna feel beautiful you're not gonna feel confident so until you get your skin right all this makeup you're piling on your face all this whatever it's not gonna matter because deep down you're gonna be like mm. so worry about your skin origins clear improvement active charcoal mask is another one that i use it clears out the pores um, if you've ever used any charcoal products, it does, you notice that it does really like sweep out the pores and it does dust those bitches out because there's a lot of dirt in there, there's a lot of makeup in there, a lot of oil, a lot of stuff, I don't know what I'm doing with my hands. Um, there's a lot of stuff in there that we don't need in our pores and we don't want it in our pores. So we use charcoal masks to get rid of that shit. I usually do it twice a week because you don't want to go too crazy with the mask because your face might fall off. Just go in moderation. But I do like that mask too. It's one of my favorite ones. Honestly, the rose clay one is like my all time favorite because it's pink, like my shirt. And this next one is something that I use for when I have like a bad acne mark, like breakout. So if I pick my face or something, or if I just get one of those really irritating pimples that just wants to be seen, and it's just like that bitch that you just can't stand, that's just obnoxious, loud, wants to be heard, wants to be seen, wants to be the center of attention. If that's the kind of pimple that I'm dealing with, this is what I'm going to combat it with. This is Dr. Wheel for Origins Mega Mushroom Skin Relief, and this just reduces the redness, the irritation, inflammation, all that Asian stuff, it gets rid of it. And it really made a difference in my skin after I had that red, horrible, bumpy face of pimples over the summer. It really took away my self-confidence. I didn't feel sexy, I didn't feel beautiful. But when I used Dr. Wheels for Origins Mega Mushroom Skin Care Relief, it really relieved me of my stress of having um, this horrible breakout all over my face. And honestly, I, 
honestly, I creep myself out with these British accents. It really did make a difference. It really did take away a lot of the redness. And uh, this is not a sponsored video. This is not an ad. This is not any of that. It's just my personal review. Um, I was also sent. <laughs> On that note, I was sent, um, but no, honestly, I was gifted by a company called Rosen, and I usually will not uh, make a video review about something that I just got, but I did use it, and I did want to share the wealth because I want to share all the skincare products that I know of that can make you feel like the baddest bitch that you know that you are. Tea tree oil is really good for your skin, but it is very drying, so you have to use it in increments but this probably only has like a drop of it in it but it's really good for your skin it really helps um combat acne germs just odor and just uh i use a tea tree body oil or a body soap and it's amazing it really helps with everything going on in your body it makes you smell like a minty tree i really like this mask um if you guys have used a lot of charcoal products it, i don't really notice it with this one which i really like but with this one it's kind of hard to get the charcoal off your face like as you're washing your face like it's like oh, okay why is this not coming off my face like what's going on <laughs> getting really scared they not only sent me the charcoal mask they also sent me the rosy rosy dew rosy dew cream mask and they said the tingling mud mask i haven't tried these yet so i cannot tell you guys what uh to expect but the rosy dew mask is a hydration mask pretty much and this one is just a classic mud mask for your skin that's the tingling mud mask so they're pretty basic and that's the way that i feel like skincare should be i shouldn't have a lot of foreign products in my skincare um items because i don't need to be putting weird chemicals on my face like that like it's the more natural it is the better so this is skin food and this is the black sugar wash off mask remember when i ate it in my skincare video or my acne video yeah um don't do that i really like this mask i'm a really big fan of it because it really does get rid of all that shit on our face but i would not use this more than like maybe once every two weeks twice a month because it's very harsh at least for my skin i have very sensitive skin it's like a baby's ass <laughs> so we can't really use it too much but twice a month is cool cool for me but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this little video about my skincare um at least the mask part of my skincare i have a review that i have been waiting to do because i've been wanting to use this product for a long time it's the dr pimple popper her acne line i have been using it for a minute and i want to do a full review on it so that'll be coming soon but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will be back with a surprise video next